In this problem, we're told an automobile cooling system holds 18 liters of water. How much heat does it absorb if its temperature rises from 15 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius? So what we're trying to do in this problem is find uh, how much heat it absorbs. And the way we're going to do that is by using the specific heat capacity formula, which is this formula right here. So it's just going to be Q equals M times C times delta T. So Q is going to be the heat, right? And so that's measured in joules. M is going to be the mass, and we measure that in kilograms. C is going to be a constant value depending on the type of material. Right? In this case, we're talking about water. So it's going to be the specific heat capacity of water. That's what C is. And then delta T is just the change in temperature. So in this case, we're going from 15 to 95. So it's just going to be the change in that. So what we're going to want to do now is just write down what we're given. So we have given. And so we're given the initial temperature, and we're given the final temperature. So we know the change in temperature is just going to be T final, or the final temperature minus the initial temperature. So in this case, our final temperature is 95, the initial is 15, so it's just going to be 95 minus 15. And so this is just going to be equal to 80, and then we're in degrees Celsius. And so when you solve this, uh, make sure temperature is in degrees Celsius, which in this case it is. So we've got that. Now what we need is C, and so we're going to need the specific uh, heat capacity of water. And so what you need to know, or what you need to, right, so you need to know the specific heat capacity of water, which is 4,186. And then the units are just going to be joules per kilogram degree Celsius. So C is just a constant. So that's just a number you need to have written down. It's in your textbook. Uh, and then now what we're going to want to do is find the mass. So for the mass, uh, keep in mind we're not given it explicitly, but what we can do is solve based on what we're given. So they give us the volume, which in this case is equal to 18 liters. So we have 18 liters of water. And the way we're going to solve this is by using uh, this formula right here. So we know density is equal to mass over volume. That's something you should know. And so if we want to find the mass, what we can do is multiply uh, both sides by V, and then we're going to get the mass is equal to the volume of our system times the density. And so in this case, the volume is 18 liters, right? And we just got to multiply it by the density. But the density of water is equal to 997. And so keep in mind what the units are, though. So the units are kilograms per meter cubed. So kilograms per meter cubed. So we need to make sure our volume's in meters cubed. So we're going to have to do a conversion. So we have 18 liters. And so to convert it into meters cubed, we need to multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. So if I just write this over 1, and then you do times 10 to the minus 3 meters cubed, that's equal to 1 liter. So the liters will cancel. And so just do 18 times 10 to the minus 3. And then what we can do is notice we have meters cubed. And then we can multiply it by our density right here, which is 997 uh, kilograms per meter cubed. And so you'll notice now that the meters cubed cancel, and we went from liters all the way to kilograms, which is what we want, because we want mass in kilograms. So what you can do is go ahead and multiply this out. So 18 times 10 to the minus 3 times 997 times, yeah. So go ahead and do that, and you're going to get it equals 17.946. Keep in mind, our units are kilograms. And so now we have the mass of our system. And so all we have to do is we want to solve for Q, which is um, the heat, right? How much heat it absorbs. You're just going to plug it in. So in this case, Q is going to be equal to our mass, 17.946. Multiply that by C, which is 4186. And then multiply by the change in temperature, which is just going to be 80. So go ahead and plug this in your calculator. This number times this times this. And so when you go ahead and do that, what you're going to get is Q. It's, and keep in mind it's measured in joules, it's going to be equal to 6009756.48. And so I'm just going to round, right, so it's just going to become uh, this right here. And so, oh, there's actually one more zero. And so what we want to do is just put this in scientific notation. So it's just going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 times 10 of the 6. And then keep in mind the units. It's going to be in joules. So 6 times 10 to the 6 joules, that's going to go ahead and be uh, how much heat uh, does it, how much heat it absorbs. So 6 times 10 to the 6 uh, joules, that's going to go ahead and be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.